What is your creepiest slash most unnerving experience? I've got a lot of these moments, but one that stands out to me is, when I was little, I got up at something like 3 in the morning, to get a glass of water, and heard something outside the back door. I went and woke up my mom, and when she opened the door, to show me there was nothing out there, she tensed up and said, hello. I got my dad to call the police. That morning I learned that a druggie had broken into our fenced off yard, used several needles, broke open our outside freezer, stole a brand new bag of pizza rolls, and tried to cook them in the old, broken toaster oven we had yet to dispose of. Was coming home to my place at night, when I used to live in the city with my roommate at the time. The key didn't work for the front door, so I always had to use the back door that led to our kitchen. The door had that blurry glass window on it, not sure what that's called, but as I was turning the key I could see a figure walk by real fast. I assumed it was my roommate, so I went to my bedroom, then checked his room, and couldn't find him. I finally went down to our living room, only to find the front door completely open. I called my roommate, and asked where was he going so fast, and why he left the front door open. He told me he hasn't been to our place in a couple hours. So yeah I was waking into my house, while someone was snooping around. Was staying with my aunt through her divorce, her kids like me cause I play with them all the time and they're adorably young, and they overheard the yelling so the smallest one asks to sleep with me, and I do so. I wake up middle of the night to heavy breathing like grown man catching his breath and I saw a figure, and felt him pull the blanket up, to get at the kid. She had a lot of stuffed animals in pillows, so I wasn't that visible, and looked like a lump of pillows I kicked with my right leg as hard as I could, and jumped on him punching. I had him on the ground wheezing, and turned the lights on it was my uncle's brother. And he had a fucking erection. I proceeded to grab the kid, and take her to the living room went back, and he was asking why I attacked him and acting innocent. Police came and got a restraining order for that. My aunt didn't know how he even got in the house, but pretty sure the fuckwad was going to assault a 3 year old. So fucking happy I was there to stop it, and they were going to sue me for assault and battery, but since he fucking snuck in the house I was fine from prosecution. But yeah do not trust anyone just cause they're family. Took a photo of my friend the first day at my new place. He helped me move, and then we were just having a couple of beers and chilling. He went home. I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning cleaned out. TV was gone, and my still unpacked boxes of electronics were all gone too. Door was ajar. I was looking at my photos a few weeks later, and I saw a foot sticking out behind my friend in the photo. It was sticking out from a large overhead storage shelf in a small storage room, which was facing into the room, and away from the main space. Robber was hiding there, before I even moved in. About 5 or 6 tears ago, I had been to the pub with a few mates. I don't drink, so I was always happy to drop everyone home, so it saved everyone a taxi fee, and they all bought my soft drinks all night. This one night, we have stayed, until about 1am, when the pub is at a point, where they kick you out. We walk to the car, I drop everyone off, and I'm on my way home. It's about 2.30. It takes me roughly 20 minutes to get back to mine from the last drop off, and I'm about halfway home. Everything is normal, I've gone my usual route and I've got music playing. All of a sudden, out the corner of my right eye, I see what I think is a man running towards my moving car, right up to the driver's window. As soon as he hits the window, he disappears. The stereo in my car stops for no reason and I'm just driving in silence, with that horrible sinking feeling of dread, with my hands and feet clamming up. I kept driving, until I got to some traffic lights, where I turned the car off and back on to get my music going again. I can't explain what went on, but it still terrifies me to drive down the street where it happened to this day. This probably pales in comparison to others experiences, but it stands out in my mind. I don't remember this super well, because I was pretty young. But a contractor that had just replaced the roof on my parents house apparently didn't pay his employees after my parents paid him for the job. One of said workers showed up at my house very pissed off, yelling and screaming that he wanted money. 
I just remember being really scared and comforting my little sister who was crying hysterically. My dad didn't budge and finally the guy gave up and left. We never saw him again. I spent a year in Thailand when I was about 8 years old. While celebrating their new year, Sankran, this big truck of people stopped near where we were standing. This lady jumps off the truck and walks up to me smiling and grabs my arm really hard and starts pulling me towards the truck and almost got me on when my brother comes running and asks me where I'm going. The lady let go and the truck quickly drove away. I didn't realize until I was way older that I almost got kidnapped in a foreign country. Alright this story haunts me. Basically, I was 17 and working at a high-end retail shop in a big shopping center, literally the last place you'd expect a ghost story. The shifts used to run quite late over the Christmas period as we'd be open as late as 9pm, so it was dark and quiet for a long time. One particular winter night, I was on a late shift with two other co-workers. My two co-workers were on the shop floor and I was out back taking stock and putting away stocks. If anybody has worked in clothes shops with large stocks hopefully you'll know what I mean when I say the clothes are stored in rolling racks, like shelves on wheels, and each rack is controlled by a wheel on the side, which you spin to move it along the rail. You can also lock the shelves, so they don't move. I know that people say this all the time, that they back quote know they did something, but I truly do know that I locked the shelves and I know this because I was climbing the shelves using each row as a ladder to reach the top sections. Had they not been locked, I couldn't have done this as the shelves world rolled. So I climbed down to grab some more stock and as I turn around the lights turn off. Now the lights are movement triggered and I was moving in the space but even so sometimes they turn off. For some reason though, this plunge into pitch black raised all the hairs on my neck and I froze in my place. There are no windows out back, so no light at all. When the lights flickered back on, all three shelves, all of which I had locked in place, were rolling towards me on their track, completely unpushed. I have to emphasize that firstly, they were locked, and secondly, if you know what I'm on about, these shelves are heavy, they require pushing, and won't move on their own. It's probably quite unprofessional of me, but I couldn't stand another minute and I dashed out into the shop floor completely unable to speak. Luckily we are a small team, and I'm quite close with all my cowhawkers, and my boss could see me visibly shaking. Once she'd calmed me down enough for me to tell her what happened, she said back quote mon let's just go check the security cameras and see what happened. Here's where it gets really creepy, we went into her office, brought up the security footage, and all that had been captured was the moment the lights went dark, and then it skipped straight to a minute later, and you see the door shut after me as I dashed onto the shop floor. The 30 seconds, a minute where the shelves rolled towards me was completely unrecorded. Creeps me out just rewriting it. One time some guy jumped in the car while my auntie was driving, held a knife up to her and told her how he was going to rape and kill her. So she decided if he was going to kill her he'd go also she drove the car and purposely crashed it. The fucking guy charged her with attempted murder and she got jail time while he got off scot free. When I heard about it I fucking raged. When I was 15 I lived on a ranch and cared for my great granny. The only people around were people driving on the highway down the hill, and the neighbor that lived a few miles away. One night at around 2am, a man knocked on the door and asked to use our phone. We didn't have any cell service, or internet service out there, or a landline. The fact that he knocked on the door meant that he hopped two locked gates and hiked up a hill. I was so scared I just said no, go away, I have a shotgun. He left. I was 6 and in a restroom stall at masses in the men's restroom. My mom was waiting outside the restroom. While I was using the toilet I can tell there was a man in the next stall because I could see his shoes. His shoes disappear and I can hear the toilet creak as if he started standing on it. I see his hands over the wall of my stall which indicated he was about to peek over. I pulled up my pants in a split second without even finishing taking my dump and bolted out of there. I never told my mom ever. What a creepy freaking experience. Thanks for watching.
don't forget to consider the idea to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.